All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Real Talk video. I pray you are all doing well and having a wonderful blessed day as we give the Most High Yah all the honor, the glory, and all the praise and worship. Um, this is a different kind of video here. Um, and this is a video response back to you, uh, Michelle 03. Um, you know who you are. Powerful email. Um, the things that you are dealing with. Um, I could say going through with um, trying to get a house. Um, you was looking at one of my older videos. Um, and once again, this is not a Bible study video. Of course, you can tell that by off the title. Um, but any knowledge... Anything that I have learned and I know I have no problem passing it on to somebody else. So that's why I'm going to title this video, a video, excuse me, buying a home. Um, it is a huge process and it takes time. Um, some people are renting still. Some people own their homes. Some people are trying to get homes. Um, it's a, in the way that the economy is, um, it's... It's pretty bad out here. Um, <laughs> that's why if you have a home, amen. Um, but ain't nothing too hard for the most high. Now, I'm going to say this in the video, my sister. I don't claim to know it all. Never will. But I know a little bit. And my little bit may be a lot to you. Or my little bit may not be enough for you. Just catch that. So I always say if I don't know something, I will tell you off top. I don't know. But some people can purchase house um, quicker than others. Some people just pay straight out cash and um, buy what they call like foreclosed homes. Um, but I've seen um, a lot of partners I know, um, they getting three hundred, four hundred thousand dollar houses for almost $50,000, man, because of foreclosed um, homes. But when you got cash, though, oh, man. If you could just put, give somebody that cash, that cut out a lot. Um, but everybody don't have cash like that. But these things happen every day, you know. But, but when you're buying a home, they're going to be all in your business, everything. Um, it's almost like getting interrogated. <laughs> and um, when you're talking about pulling your credit report, bank statements. Um, now, let me say this. One thing I've learned. Uh, because we still going through all this. Uh, one thing I've learned that you really got to do is be stable. Stability is very important when you're trying to buy a house. I'm going to say it again. Stability, being a good steward and stability is very important. It plays a big part of this. Now, I'm going to tell you some things that you don't want to do when you're trying to buy a home. Why well, I just said stability number one. Now, now, catch this. Try to stay on the same job that you've been on. Don't hip hop, skip around, changing jobs because they're looking at that also. Remember, they're looking at stability. How long you been where you at? What? How long you been making what you make? You know, is it the same? They want to see consistency, you know. So if you switch jobs, that's going to mess up a lot of things. Now, another thing you want to do is keep every one of your paycheck stubs. Keep every bank statement. I mean, show, be able to show all of this, you know. Keep up with all that because they're going to ask for it. And then another thing you got to be careful with, um, you can't keep letting people pull your credit report. Just let just let the lender that do it. Um, let them pull that credit report because when you keep letting too many people pull your credit report, then it's gonna bring your score down. That's a lot of people don't think it, it works like that, but it does. You know, cause they they see everything anyway. It's like you can't hide nothing. <laughs> okay, somebody else done pulled the credit the credit report right here. Just last month, I see another, um, okay, they switched lenders. That stuff adds up to them. So when they see that credit report being pulled, your score drop. I think all you need is a 620 to get a house, if I'm not mistaken, you know. And then another thing you don't want to do is keep sliding your credit card on huge payments. I mean, huge things, buying things. 
And if you can help it, try not to go in and out of town on vacation all the time. You know, in and out of the country where you can't be reached. Because they may they may want to see you in person to sign, to sign some type of loan documents, you know. But if you gone and spending money and, and having fun, blowing money and all that, then they're going to look at all of that. They will. But they may they they really may need you to gather more information than you think and you can't be reached, you know. But another thing I see a lot of people do, going out buying new cars. If you can help it, don't buy another car. <laughs> Hold what you got. I don't care if it's if it's ten years old and, and 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 you you tired of it, but if you can if you can not slide your credit card and um get a new vehicle because that's gonna hurt you. You may not think it's not. That's why a lot of people can get the car, but they ain't got the house yet. Don't go buy a new car because it's gonna affect you. Some people they they with well, JT. I don't even see how they're gonna affect me. Well, you don't understand that. Don't you don't know that financing a car can hurt you for getting that house, but the car salesman ain't gonna tell you that. Why? Because that car salesman want to make their commission. They want to make their sales. You know, they ain't gonna they ain't gonna tell you that 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 when you trying to get a house, don't buy this car because that's gonna cut out their business. Auto loans will can and will affect your credit score. Case closed. Trying to pay that car loan. And then you got a you got a car note and a house note. See, some people can do it well. If you if if you if you rich, you wealthy, but everybody ain't rich, everybody ain't wealthy. It's a lot of people poorer than others. Everybody don't have good credit. Everybody don't 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 have that 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 eight fifty credit score, you know, that seven something or whatever you you know, whatever one you have. It's it's a lot of people in the five hundreds. Poor credit, you know, lower than that. And they pay cash for everything. But the sad thing is paying cash for everything a lot of times, it when you when you when you start talking about these type of things, they wanna see documentation. They wanna see paperwork. And paying cash a lot of times for this type of thing will will hurt you unless you got that money to just buy a house with cash. So even even Paying that cash, I was talking to a friend of mine, man. He said, man, I don't have no kind of credit. I don't have no credit card. You can still get by when you got cash, but it, sometimes it makes a lot of things difficult if you don't have stability showing, okay, he got credit card. He pay everything on time. They can't track cash like that. When you learn about how you really need to be stable and how all this stuff works, my sister, when you start talking about, like you said in your email, the earnest money, you know, that may vary according to, you know, who you're dealing with and how much the house is. The option period where you got the option to bail out, um, the appraisals, the down payments, the closing costs, the inspections. Man, this stuff is a headache, you know. It's a headache. But I give a great shout out to my girl, Laura Perez, um, and, and, and Andre, different lenders, and, uh, you know, Marty. Um, people that schooling me on this type of stuff, Pastor Lewis E. Laurent, uh, my big brother JT, um, I've learned so much. Um, I feel like a real estate agent now because I, man, I've been 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 learning so much um, over these last these these last years or two um, dealing with this stuff. Um, anybody know when it comes to getting the house, it ain't easy, you know. But once again, sister, I know I heard what you're saying about that credit card. Um, but try your best not to make them large purchases with your credit card. Don't the, the bottom line is don't don't incur new debt. Don't get in debt, you know. And what hurt a lot of people is when they keep moving their money around. See that that's gonna hurt you too. Don't keep moving your money around. You need to learn how to keep it in one place. They'll tell you to keep it in a what's it a liquid bank account, you know. Try not to touch it. Let it let it just sit. You know, my big brother was schooling me on this um, a while back. 
Or they say, hey man, let me hold on to such an X X amount of dollars. Uh, I'm gonna put it. Some may say a escrow account. I'm gonna just let it sit. And when the thing is, um, or some may use the term liquid bank account. And what that is, that's an account that allows cash to be withdrawn without the penalties. You know. But a lot of people don't put their money in accounts. They just they keep moving it around. You know. That's why it's good to also have a checking account. Most have a checking account and a savings account. You know. Some may just have a savings account. Some got checking and saved. And some people just keep their own money at the house. They they hold they don't trust a bank. So it's easy to own how you um how you do it and what you do, you know. But if you can just let that money sit, and I know it's hard because a lot of times uh so many unexpected things come up in our lives, you know. Well something happened to the car, you know, I gotta get that fixed. Whatever it is that has, that happened, you know, things happen, you know. And another thing that a lender will do, um, that lender got the power, um, what's the word I'm looking for? The, the lender, if they don't like what they see, they got the power to revoke a, 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 a mortgage commitment when they see fit. So it's it's a lot to learn about these these loans, these conventional loans, FHA loans. So many it's so many different loans out here, man. Balloon loans. I mean, you you got to be careful because you will get caught up with the wrong stuff. A lot of first time uh, home buyers have got gotten taken advantage of, lost their home, man, and, and was pissed off, and they they learning and they they trying to get it right, you know. A lot of people have got it right through their mistakes by learning from from their mistakes. So if I can say anything in this video to help the next person from not falling, then all glory to the most high. So hope that could help you. And um, you have a wonderful, wonderful, blessed day. Y'all take care. Shalom.